Welcome to the Quick Talk Podcast with Joshua Latimer, where we discuss business, life, family, faith, struggle, fire, pain, and ultimately winning. It's time to take massive action. Look, I, I can't work harder on your life or business than you do. It's ultimately all on you. You know, God created all the food the birds would ever need, but he doesn't put it in their nest. You've got to go get it. 10 out of 10 people buy. So how about doing something today that actually matters while you still can? Hey everybody, Josh here. Welcome to the Quick Talk Podcast. My job is simple, to deliver real value to you and your business that you can apply immediately after listening to me rant and blab and interview really smart people. That's the key, right? It's not just fluffy stuff stuff that matters that you can apply. So today I want to talk about motivation because yesterday, pretty late, I had a a long day at work and I got home late. And before I went in the house, I watched a couple Facebook videos talking about motivation and what do you do when you're not motivated? And then I made my own Facebook (laughs) live video and some people uh, disagreed kind of with my perspective. So I want to clarify here and kind of make my case. So my premise was that motivation is less important than focus. And maybe people don't know what I mean by that, or maybe they just think I'm crazy, and that's okay too. But I don't think I'm crazy. I think motivation is important, but what I said was it's less important than focus because I I believe that focus, which is follow one course until success, is ultimately the thing that helps people get across whatever finish line they're trying to get across. Uh, It's the not quit. It's the grit. It's all that stuff. And I think to have grit and to have focus uh, doesn't mean that you feel the emotional feeling of being motivated all the time, right? I mean, I'm a very motivated person. And I think my video made it seem like uh, I'm not motivated and I just keep doing my businesses and keep working because, you know, I just want to serve my family and stuff. That's not really true. My point is, is as a motivated person who's inspired and passionate all the time, I'm very much that guy. uh, You you can't feel that emotional feeling 24 hours a day. It's just not possible. I don't know anybody that could feel that all the time, right? Um, So what do you do? And with spring coming up, you're probably really anticipating a big year and you're, you're feeling good and you're passionate and you're motivated and you're probably focused. But the point of my video yesterday and the point of this podcast is let's fast forward maybe 90 or 120 days into your season. And the new hires that you bring on, some half of them flake out. One of them steals from one of your customers. <laughs> like your projections are off. You're, sit, you're not on pace to hit your goal and you can feel it slipping away. Like that happens. Stuff like that can happen. And in the midst of that fire, that tribulation, that pain, what do you do? What do you do? Because you cannot feel passionate and motivated every second of the day all the time. At least I haven't been able to experience that. Uh, because we're emotional creatures. We go up, we go down, we go up, we go down. So my point is that you can still move forward on your business. You can still make progress in your business and in your personal life if you just keep chunking away at it. You keep uh, working towards it, right? So I think focus, follow one course until success is the real key uh, to achieve stuff. And so uh, one example I gave was Navy SEALs. They have an extreme amount of discipline. Uh, I'm assuming most Navy SEALs are very passionate uh, about serving our country and they're very motivated to become a Navy SEAL and it's elite. It's an elite thing. It's a huge, huge deal to to make it through uh, the process of being one of those people. Uh, But do you think that they feel like super positive, warm, fuzzy, you know, energy when they're getting up at 4 a.m. to run 15 miles in the dark or whatever it is that Navy SEALs do? I don't think so. I don't think so. But what they're doing is they're not focusing on how they feel. They're focusing on the end goal, the prize. And when people go through my boot camp, the first kind of module and section they go through is I, I go deep on this idea of what is your why? Why did you start your business in the first place? Why did you, you know, take the risk? Why did you quit your job? Why did you go into debt to buy the equipment to do it? Like whatever your deal is, there was some original why. And if your why, your personal why isn't strong enough, it's really, really hard to finish and stay strong once things get hard. 
Uh, you got to have a really clear why. And a lot of people do not have a strong why. Uh, one example of this would be if you're an employee and you just hate your job and you hate people telling you what to do, so you say you're going to start your own company, uh, that you're allowed to do that. But not wanting to work for someone else isn't really a why. That's what you don't want. You don't want to work for someone else. A why is what do you want? What are we moving towards? Why do you get out of bed every day at 6 in the morning? Why do you stay up late working on systems and automation and, and all that stuff, right? Why are you returning emails and following up with your customers and working and hustling and grinding? You need to stop and ask yourself why. Why am I doing it? And it needs to be razor sharp and specific, you know? I'm doing this because in 36 months or less, I will make a personal income of $110,000 while working only 15 hours a week in my fully automated business. Boom. Like, that's specific. There's a date. There's specific numbers attached to it. That would be a why. And th those are powerful. And when you have a strong why... Your motivation level, it'll go up sometimes, down sometimes, up sometimes, down sometimes. You feel passionate, and you might feel passionate for three months straight or a whole year straight, but you're going to have a dark day eventually, and you don't have to stop all progress in your business or moving towards that goal, that why, just because you don't feel good. So my main point was that when I said motivation is less important than focus, was that you can still make progress in your life and your business, even while you don't feel the emotional feeling of being motivated. That was my point. I typically am motivated. I'm typically very passionate. Uh, so I wasn't implying that, that I'm not or something like that. The other part uh, of the video was talking about, you know, our own selfish goals and stuff, right? So you have, you know, selfish goals for your business. And it's funny, that's really not the right word because they're not selfish goals. They're just your personal goals, your why. Like, is you, is you making $110,000 personal income while working 15 hours a week in your business? Or as my fake example, is that someone being selfish? Of course not. That's like, that's free market capitalism. That's what we're supposed to do in America. We, we can actually do stuff like that. Like, that's real. Uh, now, the way that you get that is by serving the marketplace at a high level, by delivering huge value to your customers. That's how we get it. But I feel like people get confused on the how and the why, okay? You didn't go into business so you could deliver value to the market. What you did, you went into business so that you could work part-time and be a better dad, for example. And how do you do that? By providing better value to the market. And so like for me with my app, my software, I'm not like staying up all night passionate about like code and buttons and features and, and all that. I think it's cool. I think it's amazing. It's interesting. But why I started this business isn't the same thing as how or w what I need to do tactically to get why, right? Does that, <laughs> does that make sense? It might not make sense. So I went into this business to build and scale and sell a company because that's what I like to do. I like to automate, grow, and sell. And with my current business, you know, because they're younger and smaller, because I'm starting over with them, uh, we're going through that fire. But the end goal, the why, is for me to have more time freedom with my family, to create more wealth for my family. Uh, and the how to do that, guess what? It's by delivering huge value to the marketplace. So do I care about my customers? Of course I do. Every, all of us do. At least I hope. But the reason I started the business wasn't to serve my customers. It was to serve my family and my why. And that's the reason you started your business. Now, how do I achieve my why? By serving my customers really well and creating innovative products and services, right? And that's what you got to do. So hopefully this makes sense. Uh, I think it's interesting. And I'll wrap it up with one of my favorite questions to ask myself. When things are hard or you have the, the opportunity laying in front of you to take on a project or to buy a competitor out or, or whatever, invest money that you're scared to invest in your business, uh, the question you really got to ask yourself is not, you know, uh, how hard will this be and how long will it take and all that. The real question that I think is important is, is it worth it? Such a, such a simple question. But ask yourself with all the stuff that you're currently going through, is it worth it? Is it worth going through this to ultimately get that? That's the question. And if you can keep a answering uh, yes to that question, then don't stress about how long it takes. Don't stress about how hard it is. And don't stress because your employee stole you know, uh, uh, something from a customer's house. You're going to get through it. Deal with it. Make it right. Do the right thing. And move on. It's not going to slow you down. You know why? Because what you're doing is ultimately worth it. That's why it's so important 
to have a crystal clear why and a vision for your life and for your company up front. If you're only doing your business to kind of just meander through and just kind of float around, you're never going to build a real business. The big, big businesses that started as embryos happen because of great focus and great vision. And yeah, lots of motivation, but those founders of those companies do, did not feel focused, or I'm sorry, didn't feel motivated and passionate all the time. But why? Because they're humans, and it's okay. And if you are having a hard time getting motivated or feeling passionate, don't beat yourself up. Don't be like, oh, I guess I'm just not an entrepreneur. That has nothing to do with anything. What makes you an entrepreneur is your ability to execute. And you can execute while you feel nothing. You can execute and move the ball down the field uh, on your systems and your business plan and all that. You can execute while not feeling particularly passionate that day. Another story about this is Robert Kiyosaki. I think it was in the Rich Dad Poor Dad book. It's been many years since I read that book. But he had started a, a watch business that sold Velcro watches like back in the 80s. And the thing scaled up and it was making millions of dollars for him. Uh, but he made the point that he wasn't passionate about watches. He wasn't. He wasn't passionate about Velcro. <laughs> like He didn't care about that. And I don't think that's wrong. And a lot of the business advice I see from people is like, well, follow your passion, Ch- chase your dream. Um, and I, I think that's okay, but I think it also confuses other people uh, on what their business is there for. And your business doesn't have to uh, satisfy every desire of your soul. It's just a vehicle for you to use to get from point A to point B. That's all that it is. It's designed to serve you. It's supposed to be a slave to you. You're you're supposed to be in control of it. You get to direct it. That's how I look at it. Uh, You're allowed to have fun while you have a business. You're allowed to be excited about your business. And you certainly should be uh, doing business at a high level and providing great value and services. But, you know, my business is not who I am. It's what I'm currently doing. It's what I'm currently investing time on, but it's not who I am. So that's it. I'm not sure if that connected with some of you or not. Maybe it was an encouragement. Maybe you think it's weird. Either way, it's all good. Uh, Just having some fun up here in Michigan, getting ready to be full spring mode here. Uh, This Thursday, I want you to hang out with me. I want you to hang out with me. I'm going to unveil Radius Bomb and give you an opportunity to join in real early in the process for (laughs) next to nothing compared to what it will cost uh, once it rolls out. So I'd like to demo it and show it to you. It's a huge deal. You can use our map, uh, draw a circle or a radius around one house or a neighborhood or a cul-de-sac anywhere in the United States and instantly send a mailer or a sequence of mailers to these houses. But it does more than that, too. There's some really cool strategies and tactics you can do. Uh, you could target just lakefront homes. You could target just homes that have you know lots of trees around them if you're going to do gutter cleaning. You can target just the neighbors of your current customers if you want. Uh, there's, it's endless. If you're a roofing company, you could target you know an area that just had wind damage or tornado or hailstorm damage on their roof, and you could circle a whole zip code and boom, 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 mail to them a sequence. Like, it's insane. If you're a pool cleaning company, you could s- select all the houses with pools. Like, You've never been able to do stuff like this before. This is just incredibly intuitive. It's simple and it's powerful. Uh, and it's, it's really awesome. I'm excited. So all you got to do, hang out with me on Thursday. Just go to sendjim.io. I know it, it's not sendjim.com. It's sendjim.io forward slash revolution. That's the URL to sign up for the free webinar. Well, I'll show you all about this stuff. Uh, I'm excited. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Send Jim to IO slash revolution. I'll see you on Thursday. Take care. Hey, thanks for hanging out, friends. And from all of us here at the Quick Talk Podcast team, we hope you love today's show. We hope that you were inspired to become a doer and not just a listener. Apply what you've heard today in your own business and watch things change for the better. Lastly, remember that all the money in the world can't save your soul. Seek first the kingdom of God, my friends. We'll see you next time. For more information about the Quick Talk Podcast or Joshua's other businesses, visit our website, quicktalkpodcast.com. Have a blessed day.